from Hawaii. From Maui. After 12 hours of travel, I am looking like a rat. I'm, That's okay. I'm, I'm looking for steam in this uh, Hawaii glow that we don't have here because we're shaded. We just landed. We are waiting for our car and welcome back to the vlog. I'm turning 30 tomorrow. Let's just preface the vlog with that. It's your birthday vlog. It's my birthday it's vlog. I've spoken to Josh about coming to Hawaii for as long as we've known each other, which is 10 years, so that's quite some time. And we're finally here. Uh, more, I met you when you were 19, so it's over 10 years now. Yeah, clearly it's our first time here. My mom was here when she was younger, and I grew up always hearing about how amazing her time in Hawaii was. She like worked at this little coffee shop and made tuna sandwiches and then babysat. It's like this whole era in her life that I grew up hearing about. And now I get to live my era. And I will say, I have no idea what this trip entails. Honestly, Josh booked everything. All I know is that we're in Maui right now. We're going to Hawaii. <laughs> In a few days, we're here for a week, and I'm gonna bring you along. And I also have a really bad headache because we woke up at four and went to bed at one. All the Jeeps are currently not sold out, but they're just like out. So we're waiting here for our Jeep because if you're gonna do a car rental in Hawaii, it may as well be a Jeep. But yeah, to address the elephant in the room, I'm turning 30 tomorrow. Do I count it based on Toronto time or Hawaii time? I think Hawaii, Hawaii time. time. It's currently four. You bought, you bought oh, your, loose, loose. You, you bought your. You guys, I miss Bagel so much. Each time bought herself a few more hours of 29. <laughs> Five more hours. So I just keep traveling backwards in time, <laughs> holding on to her 20s. So yeah, anyway, we're in the last few hours of my 20s. And the weather is like, I was so scared. It showed like forecast is gonna rain, or potentially rain, but the forecast looks beautiful. It shows it's gonna rain when we leave to go to Kauai. Oh, here in yeah, Maui? Yeah. We actually always get kind of crappy weather on Not our trips. Not always, no. The last, last trip. Our, it literally rained on our honeymoon. Yeah. The but, beginning. Yeah. And then it rained But then it was last. nice. Then the weather was beautiful. I just feel like we don't have, we don't usually have good luck with weather, so I just stopped checking because I can't control it anyway. This time it looks like it actually worked out for the best. Got the car, got the Jeep. You guys, how cute is this license plate? That is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I want this hanging in our kitchen. <laughs> Josh already made a playlist. Literally landed in Hawaii less than two hours ago and here we are, but I'm gonna give you guys a room tour. We just checked in, We're staying at the Four Seasons, which I didn't know this. The White Lotus season one was filmed in this exact Four Seasons in Maui. This is not the pineapple suite, but honestly it's giving the same, the same vibes. Like the doors are the same. We just, we did a little walking through the property and I saw the restaurant from a few of the scenes. Anyway, let's explore the room together. This is the bed. There's a whole little spread here this is so nice i still sometimes like forget that this is my name i'm like who's mrs raider flex gold there's a little happy birthday ting guys this hotel is stunning look at that mountain oh my god also i told josh i'm not giving this back like i'm drying this and hanging this at home oh it's large and in charge the music so fun fact josh does not eat fruit i don't know if any of you know this or if i said this in another vlog but Josh like does not eat fruit with a few annoying exceptions. Watermelon, banana bread, orange juice. I've been he eating started berries. eating blueberries. In Spain I ate berries for the first time and now I'll eat berries with like French toast or like with something. Like yeah, pastry. I told Josh obviously the fruit in Hawaii has to be amazing. Like this is some of the freshest pineapple I've ever put in my mouth. I just had a bite. And Josh promised me he would try pineapple. Well, I said no, mango. No, I said mango. I said mango and one more fruit. <laughs> Our room's kind of a mess. I gotta show Nitz eating her bagel on her 30th. Courtesy of Emma, Sophie, and Jordan. Nitz, you are gonna be drunk today. Let me just tell you. That's the plan. Nitzan is putting in 30 candles. If I'm gonna be 30, I may as well own it. Oh my God. There's no God. strategy here. I'm just kind of like trying to go around it. Yeah, least. this cake was so stunning. Four Seasons killed. I sent yeah, a picture. Like the chef here made it. Or... I sent a picture and they made the exact same replica of what I wanted. 
Except I came up with that tagline. No one's ever done that before. Talk 30 to me. Yeah, okay. 30 candles! Yay, happy <laughs> birthday <laughs> to you! <laughs> oh, look at that. Inside? Oh, that's stunning. Aw, you guys. Hannah and Nat just sent me chocolate covered strawberries, champagne, and 30 flirty and thriving lingo, which is all I need to hear. Good morning, I am 30 today. That's all I'm gonna have to say. I haven't even said hi this morning yet, but I've had half a bagel with scrambled eggs, birthday cake, and now chocolate covered strawberries, and we haven't even gone to breakfast yet, technically, which is what we're gonna do now. Mmm. Nat and Hannah, thank you so much. I'm about to text you right now. There we go. That's a better way to kick off the day. Okay. Let's go to breakfast. This is breakfast, morning breakfast. A lot of calls for Nitsan on our birthday, let me tell you that. We ate in the room, now we're eating again because everything looks stunning and amazing. Thank you. Oh, okay, there we go. Ooh. Thank you so much. Yeah. No. I don't know. I'm so used to doing vertical. So, right now we are sitting in a cabana in the upstairs like adult only pool and i don't know if i mentioned this already on the vlog but the first season of white lotus was filmed at this exact four seasons in maui i watched the show like when it came out but we also recently watched it again like not too long ago literally probably two months ago before we knew we were coming here it is such a mind <laughs> because we're sitting in the exact cabana from the scene of like the main two and like honeymoon couple. Alex, Alex Daddario and, and the and dude. And the dude having a conversation. I'll insert clips here as we're talking. We're sitting in the exact cabana. See this pillar. Wait. And no, we did not choose this cabana. We just were placed here. And here's the thing I told Josh. That that character reminds me of him. Yes. You know, you know. Well, no. I like was... in, in a Josh is a much. Okay, that sounds bad. No. There's aspects that, no. of that character. No, like the one guy. aspect of that character, that he on principle was like, we ordered this room and they didn't give the room. That's definitely something that I would do. The rest, <laughs> I'm not. I would definitely be like, we got this room. We paid for this. Yeah. My mom has a photo in Hawaii you can insert that in photo. her twenties. Insert here. And she's like in a Hawaiian print bikini, like in Hawaii. That's the vibe today. I'm gonna try to recreate that. You got the pina colada, I got the Mai Thai. Ooh, it's strong. Ooh, this is fire. I forgot my go to drink in college. All I drank was rum. Two hours later. Okay, Josh just got pineapple delivered. Literally, someone just walked with pineapple on a stick on a platter and was like, here's free pineapple. So I think it's time to try it. Okay. The world literally brought it to you. Here we and go. And I'm filming you on my phone. For any time's birthday, I will do it. Cheers. Not bad. You have to eat the I'm whole a little thing. scared. No, no, I can't eat the whole thing. Why are you having a mental breakdown? Because <laughs> it's like scary. Why is it scary? It's all in your head. Your I'll have one more bite. And then, reality. no, I had a bite. I don't know if it's my okay, vibe. Go. One more. Good. Good is on my vibe. Not for Thanks me. for trying. It'll be a worse birthday, ain't it? And then she, unfortunately, she's gonna be exhausted because she has a massage after. Long day for you, eh? Okay, so the best part about coming back to the room is that the bathroom has a built-in speaker with channels, and I just pick a vibe. Ooh, love that. Anyway, I'm very massaged out. I'm gonna go get ready for dinner, but I thought I'd give you a room tour now that the room is like nice and clean. This is our room. We have the table full of just like food and birthday cards here. We got another birthday card from Amanda of Four Seasons Maui, who's just been honestly the sweetest. Balloons balcony josh is white hammered and this is our view like what in the jurassic park is going on where are we next she showed up stunning this dress is fire and a photo that she just took i love them it's 2 a.m for us so we're both a bit tired. We're rallying, we're rallying. The boys are gonna get through this. Um, I think I was too caught up on my phone today 
and I wasn't as present as I would like to be, which is kind of like a theme, a running theme on vacations and trips because I feel like on one hand I have to work and I'm partnering with Four Seasons Hotel and there's like content to be taken, but on the other hand I want to be present and enjoy and I just have a hard time finding that balance, you know? That's okay. New year, new habit. We got some seared ahi tuna, broccolini for the boys. The, la the ladies got some pasta. Happy birthday to you. You blew out 30 candles today, so now. One for good luck. Yes, this is it. You didn't do one for good luck. This is it. The playlist on these speakers slap. Anyway, we are going out. Day two, we're going to the beach today, I think. Hopefully you can hear me. As I was saying, we are going to the beach today. Get a little reading done, a little journaling, a little music listening. I don't know. Honestly, I get so sad every time my birthday's over and because it's a birthday trip, I get to like extend that feeling. So we're in a good mood. I'm wearing the Rocco coat today. This hat I actually got when I was in Tel Aviv last. It is so cute. And I'm also wearing a Dorococo cover up and bathing suit. But we're gonna get going. See you at the beach. Beach day. Ice coffee. Some Hawaiian chips. These are jalapeno flavor. I also mugged the barbecue flavor. Josh is here. Being a beach rat. How's your day? This is our view. Boys are manifesting big things this year. Oh my god, you know what? Everyone on here are the real ones you know what i'm gonna insert my close friend story from yesterday because if you're watching this you're a real one and you deserve to see it the absolute sabotage the josh's dad jokes are they're kind of funny in retrospect but in the moment i literally want to die boys are gonna up 2024. that's true the, when i say the boys i mean me nits and gideon all of us <laughs> 2024. Uh -huh. you agree Big that? year coming, Gideon. Oh, absolutely. He's had, he's had one too many drinks while I was at my I massage, clearly. I think it's going to be a big year. I feel it. I, I feel it more than you know. <laughs> In places you don't want to know. I'm going to show now it's ready. Oh, no. Vacation Josh is back. Vacation back is got. <laughs> what are we doing later today? We are going to Haleakla national park watch the sunset it's like a two and a half hour drive so we gotta head out soon we're gonna get some food on the way then after we're going to something fish market i forget what it's called we'll show you guys when we're there it looks fire it's just super casual and yeah it's the day we're just gonna enjoy the car the scenery we haven't really been out in maui yet so i know we got our cute little jeep that we get to yeah. drive so i'm excited I'm for excited. that it's gonna be a good time food truck apparently it's amazing for some poke bowls okay we just got um well it's supposed to be a poke okay. bowl i don't this know is, yeah it's I not didn't really giving this. pokey this is also not staying this is what it looks like garlic ahi tuna and some wasabi yeah ahi tuna and greens and rice this is not really giving poke bowl though mm. Mm. okay go get another one with that reaction mm. whoa mm. <laughs> that's great this is the best one we've had so far. More food trucks. Acai bowls. Got my acai bowl. Got strawberries, chocolate shavings, peanut butter, banana, almonds, granola somewhere in there, coconut. Mm. Real famous Hawaiian donuts, masala. I love donuts. I'm a big donut. After Big bagels, donut go. guy. <laughs> so you choose your quantity, select the sugar, and choose your filling. So You're the like sugars. So oh my god. So yeah, we're getting 12. Plain sugar cinnamon lahing, which is local choice sweet and sour plum sugar. And then the filling. Oh wow. PBJ and Nutella. Yeah, you can't go wrong in either. I don't think I don't think I'm going wrong. The donuts have entered the chat. <laughs> These are fantastic. Yeah. Okay, hi. After a slight mental breakdown about being terrified to do this drive, 
you see nothing but clouds driving back at night this road is not lit so um kind of scared but okay it's looking brighter up there fun fact both josh and i are scared of heights so this is gonna be interesting that's a more on my video from now i see if it's yeah. more like if this scary, is scary this. road to hana which is what we're supposed to do tomorrow might be a little terrible. No, oh, I, it's sunny now. This is actually crazy. We are going above the clouds. <laughs> that's crazy. What the? Just looked at the right. You're essentially flying a goddamn plane. Holy! You guys have to see this. Hold on. Oh slow down. God. Just slow down. You guys, this is crazy. So we're waiting for sunset right now. This is literally insanity. This is our view. That's literally our view. We're above all the clouds, 10,000 feet, 10,000 feet. Now this fish, it's gonna be, I, I just can tell, I see, I see the vibe. This is gonna be spectacular. Yes, thank you. Oh my god. I got an ahi tuna burger. We got one fish taco. Oh no, fish, I've never had it before. Sounds amazing. This is this. a pink snapper. Ooh. It's gonna be phenomenal. Wow. Wow, 10 out of 10 so far. Always want to eat snowballs under a kid. Finally, you can. Boys are trying our shaved ice. Mm -hmm. um, although I am ice right now. Okay. This does not look that appetizing to me. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm not a big slushy girl. No. Mmm. I like the I like the blue. It's like the slushy. It's like the bottom of a slushy. That's good. Not your pants, my friend. <gasps> Get you a man who cleans your pants and calls you a rat. I feel like in this vlog we've called each other rat so many times. But it's what we call bagel when he's being annoying. So it's just like that's our, that's our, our habit now. Yeah. Rat could be good or bad thing too. It's like even if Josh did something really nice to me, it's like you rat. If Josh looks good, it's like, ooh, you look like a rat. You know? Anyway, bye. Good morning, next day in Hawaii. Honestly, it's noon. We spent two hours journaling by the beach this morning, had breakfast, Josh is waiting for me by the pool. This is my look for today. These are Heaven Mayhem earrings. I'm wearing this sick Kagaya. I wanna say it's a cover up, but it's essentially like a see-through knit holy dress. I'm definitely serving a full serve here in Hawaii and there's so many families and like kids around, but honestly, this is 30. We're minding our business and doing what we want and looking great while doing it. So this is the vibe today. We ended up getting in so late last night after our little excursion that we decided to skip Road to Hana today, which if you're watching this and you've done Road to Hana and I'm assuming it's absolutely amazing and you're like, mm, you should have gone, I could see that happening. But we honestly just wanted to chill. We're very big chillers, Josh and I. We're not big adventure people, although I do want to be more of that. This year, like I want to step outside of my comfort zone, but we were just so tired. We want to just like chill and read and journal and just like relax because we really don't get this weather back home. I don't know. I just felt like this is the right decision. Anyway, we're going to go down to the pool right now, join Josh, and I'll bring you along the rest of the day. I haven't vlogged all day, so I'll vlog some minutes with my wife. Is a rat. Let's just say lunch. Day three. So I made a great suggestion. I will give this to her. We're gonna sit back right where we were at the beach on day two yesterday. We should have been nice, but me and Mitsan, courtesy of Laura Vanderkam's book, um, uh, what's the book called? Off the clock. In Off the Clock, it's all about time and how our perception of time. Uh, when it relates to being in the same place, if you go to the same place constantly, your memory just merges to essentially one memory. So Nitsan, and if you go to different places, you have different memories and multiple memories. So 
in a lot of ways you want to break up your habits so that you have more memories when you can reflect back on your life. So, Nitsan said something very smart and said, let's go sit somewhere else. So that's exactly what we're doing. We're sitting somewhere else. We're expanding our memories. Expanding our memories. And uh, this is where we're sitting and this is our view, which is not bad. What's crazy, if you've stayed at the Four Seasons, you may know, and if you have not, I highly recommend it. Why it's such a special place is really because of its service, I would say. Anytime you speak to someone, like you go get your br your breakfast in the morning and they they know your name. Like they know, it's like every time, or they remember everyone at the pool here. Everyone knows my name, Mr. Fluxgold, Mr. Fluxgold. It just, just, it's like a very personalized touch. Obviously they're taught to remember or to learn names and remember them. Like it's important. You don't feel just like another guest. You feel like a special guest. It makes a lot of sense that they've been in business for so long and they're still like at the top of their game. But uh, okay, logging off, gonna go continue reading. Reading, thinking grow rich by Napoleon Hill. I don't know if it's mind blowing. It, it like very good ideas, but a lot of stuff that I've read before, um, similar ideas about mindset, manifestation. It's cool, it's good. It's a good reminder to start the year in January. So we'll see how I feel at the end of it. I will report back. Got a little stroll to the beach cafe. Beach walk cafe by the Four Seasons. We got some ice cream that I just dropped some sprinkles from. Boys and girls, I just asked Nitsan if she writes goals. And what did you say to me? Like big themes, not goals. Huh? Like big themes. Big I'll write, themes? Like, more time with family, less this. That's not a goal. I guess, look, I'm not uh, Tony Robbins or anything, so you need to write goals and stuff. This is for anyone who's out there not writing goals because I'll say it like this. I mean, the analogy, and I, I can't take this analogy completely my, because I've heard this elsewhere. Think about a boat that sets sail in it, and the boat has no destination. Where's it going? How's it going to get somewhere? It could end up in the back in the exact same place. If it doesn't have a map, the goals are the destination. If you do your goals correctly, then you have a map. How do you expect to hit a target, to reach a destination, if you don't even know what that destination is? And a goal needs to be written. If it's just in your head, then it can change. Things change in your mind all the time. You don't remember every single thought you had. You have to write it down. Okay, hi guys. It is the next day. It is currently evening, and I'm only picking up my camera now. But took the day off. We spent the whole day by the beach. I read half of my book that Josh got me for my birthday here. In Maui, it's called Gravitas, 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 I don't know. Um, clearly more of a reason to read it, but it's all about owning and mastering and understanding your confidence, like kind of like your love language, but your confidence language. So it's really cool and believe it or not, I really need to work on that. So that was a great read. We plan on just taking the day off. Today is Saturday, Shabbat. Um, we wanted to just like reflect. So it was really nice, no makeup, vibes all day. And now we got ready for dinner. I'm letting my hair air dry, which is just a very vacation of me. There's truly no better feeling. This is my outfit tonight. It's actually by Vivian Horn's brand. I believe it's pronounced Vive. And she sent this to me last, or I guess this past summer, and I never got around to wearing it. So I pulled it out. I loved it ever since. I've been waiting for an opportunity to wear it. It's the most amazing quality. It's this off-the-shoulder top. Looks really pretty. And then a beautiful long skirt. Let me show you. Look at the finishing of it. It's just like a tie little skirt. And then Josh's outfit. Show us your serve. Awesome. Sure. Well done. This is this is us. Literally, look at look at look at Oh my god. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you, Amanda. And the four seasons. Thank you so much for watching. Hi from Kauai. Oh my god, this looks incredible. Back with the food vlog. But we're in Kauai. We just landed. We rented our car. We're on our way to our next hotel, but we stopped. This is poke. It's called the local local style poke. These are like truffle tater tots. This, oh my god, is this masubi? Ahi tuna masubi. Hawaiian food is so f Every time we go eat outside, it's been amazing. All I have to say is, you know what this vlog is giving me? I hope you guys are enjoying it because it's giving me like home videos if we were capturing our trip for our kids one day on our like VHS camera. That's what this is giving me. We are gonna hit the road, Jack. 
towards, hold up, the one hotel now, which is our next destination. Um, there is a flood warning, and it is gonna rain all day tomorrow, but maybe not, things can change, although cloudy clouds are making me second guess that. See, when we get there, I am nice and full now. All I need is like chocolate. Ooh, should we go get donuts? That's what I'm gonna do right now. Guys, marry someone who thinks before you even think, you I, know? I already, I'm already. He's already Googling it. The boys are set. Fun fact, Kauai is where Jurassic Park was filmed. Just thought you should know. Here's the bathroom. I'd like to show you my backyard. Crazy. Wait. It's absolutely insane. Beautiful room. Here. Head out to my oasis. Oh my god. Wow. We got a very nice surprise from the one hotel. Happy birthday cake and champagne. This is the view right now. It started raining before, but I see the sky getting quite blue over there. But anyway, I'm about to dig into this cake with a fork because that's what you do when you're 30. We got room service because honestly, we're exhausted. And look what we're playing. A little Jurassic Park action. We got some veggies and baba ganoush. We got a kid's grilled cheese and za'atar fries. Salad, spicy rigatoni. And over there are what I believe will be two of the best chocolate chip cookies and a glass of milk. Dinner time. We spent the whole day today. Journaling it was actually a rainy day here in Kauai. We oh got in yesterday. Tomorrow we have it was to rainy. Show that it's today it was rainy. Yeah, we'll give you a whole tour. Spectacular. Tomorrow. Like literally top three hotels we've ever visited ever. Yeah, it's really, really like nice. Like the, the scenery, the outdoors. Josh won't wow. stop talking. Like about I, I'm so. literally like it's like a pinch me hotel, like coma level or when we were in Dea. That was crazy too. Well, yeah, now we're going for dinner here at the restaurant at the hotel. It's like a sushi restaurant. restaurant name we are at Molina Terrace Josh got their version of a Mai Tai looks really really good and I got essentially a pineapple spicy margarita okay excuse the half eaten edamame but these are like grilled and they're or amazing charred. they're charred. so good so good Never the drinks know. are incredible these Brussels sprouts are so good this fish looks incredible we're about to try it, it smells great I got it I want to have a piece of this it smells phenomenal Mm. We only eat the same things at the restaurant in the sense that we don't eat meat or shellfish, so we're only limited to the same kind of fish and like veggie dishes, which would make you think that like, oh hey, you can't really be food critics or restaurant critics, not actually being able to eat because you can't try like restaurants key like famous meat or like shellfish, whatever. But low key, if we're trying the same thing in every restaurant, what are we be able to know? which restaurant is best. So with that said, we're harsh on some restaurants. Like if we don't like it, we'll find, you know what I mean? We're just very honest with each other about the food. And if you both say that a restaurant is a 10, it's a 10. Like this is one of the best meals. Just popping back on to let you know that I have a theory that you can tell how good a restaurant is by the Brussels sprouts. Because if the Brussels sprouts are fire, chances are everything's gonna be fire. If their Brussels sprouts are mediocre, chances are everything is going to be mediocre as well. Can I just show how cool this place is? We're in Princeville, next to the hotel. It's just like all these little shops and restaurants. Like it's dope. Do we extend yes or no? Yes or yes? If the weather was good, I would say yes. The weather is good. No, the wet one day is not going to be good. Another two days are going to be Yeah, but hot. that's the day that we'll reflect. We're like so far from home. Like we're not, I know we're going to come back here one day, but it's not going to be anytime soon. And we're already on the side of the earth, but like we have to call my parents and tell them, here's the game plan. Imanaba, if you watch this, when this is live, it's fine because it's over. But I'm thinking of telling my parents that our flight was delayed and the only flight that Josh and I could get back on is Saturday night. Oh my God. Oh my God, that doesn't even do justice. No worries, on a bridge. Enjoy this drive. So I did the girl math and here are all the reasons why it makes sense for us to extend, okay? 
by staying here for a few more days, yes, it's gonna cost us more money, but I will be able to finish my goals, my reflections, my mood board, and I get to come back home more focused and rejuvenated, which means I will have a really successful 2024 with all my goals done. It's really just a return on investment, and it's actually more expensive for us to go home because of all the missed opportunities that I wouldn't get if I didn't finish writing my goals in this place of clarity, okay? Next is I wear my hair au naturel here. If I was to go home, I have to style it, my hair gets damaged, so I'm really saving money on all of the hair treatments that I would need to do when I'm home because I keep styling my hair. So those are two main reasons. The third reason is that mm, that's all I have. <laughs> For our dinner, this restaurant is called Ama. It's a ramen house. I had an amazing drink, insert photos here. It was a cream soda, coconut cream. Yeah. So good. I'm back to just confirm that once again, my theory slays. You can always tell how good a restaurant is based on how good the Brussels sprouts are, and these are phenomenal. It's our last night in Hawaii. How would you sum up the trip? Well, we almost considered extending. Oh yeah, so. last you saw. We yeah. we looked it up. I also called my parents. <laughs> no, it's crazy. Is I convinced them. <laughs> well, the change of flight from tomorrow to Saturday was three dollars. Three dollars together. So 150 each. Quite expensive, but the hotel is very expensive. So the flight costing nothing was great, but like one hotel fire. Highly recommend. This is not sponsored by the way. I low-key wish no, it was, but it's not. It's not. Highly recommend one hotel. It's super expensive. The weather is not looking so good for the next few days. So one, we debated like staying one night, but I was like, I don't want to fly during a storm on Thursday. And then um, otherwise, we have a rat waiting for us at home. Insert photo of Bagel here that my mom sent today, and I swear he's grown. The ramen has arrived. Let's see if my theory was right. Slaps. So I'm running out here to catch the rainbow. This is the craziest rainbow we've ever seen. Oh my god. This is magical. That was insane. We just got in the water together. I got some crazy pictures for Neat Sun. There's turtles that were coming out as we were swimming. It was insane. I've never had an experience like this in my life. That was one of the best moments of my entire existence. I just swam in an ocean in Hawaii under the rainbow. <laughs> Sorry, what? Hey ladies. We are on the way to the airport now. Hawaii has come to an end and I couldn't be more upset about it. Do you like my hat by the way? Because I got it today. This was such a beautiful trip and so needed and Hawaii is so special and beautiful and just like down to earth and magnificent. Like we're just driving here and look at the view. This is what we're seeing. Oh my god, there's a rainbow! You guys, there's a rainbow! Okay, no worries. Casual rainbow sending us off to the airport. Everywhere you go. You guys, I can't handle. I can't handle this place. The chaos. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I am so happy to be able to bring you along and document our memories like this. Thank you, Josh, you are a great co-host. More like the host of this vlog. Don't know where the next vlog will take us. No, it's Nin-Nin-Nin-Nini. Ni, 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 ni. We spent ni, ni, a lot of time sorry. together. But we had a great time together. We did. <laughs> we had a great time so, together next until week. the next one, let me know what you guys thought of the vlog below, what you enjoyed, what you want to see next, and wish us a safe journey home. I am now entering my 30 era. Bye.